Hello, dear learners. So today uh, our lesson is writing and I'm going to teach you how to write uh, describing paragraphs, how to describe a person. So today uh, our agenda is how to describe appearance and how to describe personality of a person. So what do they look like? In order to write descriptive paragraph uh, about a person, so first of all, you should start with appearance, uh, then clothes, character qualities, and hobbies, activities. Uh, but these are for the body paragraphs, for main uh, part of your uh, describing paragraph. And if you are going to write a descriptive essay, you have to start with introduction part, where you introduce with the, that person, uh, how do you know him or her, uh, what's his name, um, and then for uh, then you will uh, move to the next paragraph, body paragraph, where you start with that person's appearance. So in order to write this kind of paragraph, you have to learn some adjectives uh, related to appearance and, uh, and in order to describe clothes, character qualities, hobbies and activities. So uh, let's learn them. Um, so let's start with their hair. Hair. So in order to introduce uh, and describe someone's hair, uh, you should use these words like straight, curly, wavy, or spiky. And here you can see the pictures uh, with the words and uh, length of the hair, you can use bold, short, shoulder length, and long. And as well as color of the hair, blonde, ebon, dark, gray, red, and brown. And hairstyles. So uh, mostly we use ponytail or fringe and uh, pleat. So, and face complexion, dark, fair and tent. So about uh, height, tall, short or medium height. And about their weight, overweight, mm -hmm chubby, slim, or skinny. And uh, other or specific features of that person uh, like freckless, pimple, mole, beard, hostage. So let's see how much you have learned these words. Now look at the following pictures and describe them. So she's around 40, she's tall, slim, and beautiful. She has long, straight ha black hair, and uh, she also has humanitarian work. Who is she? Yes, we are talking about Angelina Jolie. Uh, next uh, celebrity is, he is average head and uh, average build. He has brown hair, he is handsome, his girlfriend is Anna Kornikova. Who is he? Uh, yes, uh, he is Van Diesel. She is really cute. She has medium legs, baby hair, and she has Big, beautiful eyes. She is Shakira, a very famous singer. Uh, so next, uh, he's tall and average build. He is a crew cut and he has dark skin. He is dark skinned. Uh, he has three songs. So Will Smith. 
He is elderly. Uh, he has short curly hair and won an Oscar in 2005 for Million Dollar Baby. Who is this actor? Yes, this is Morgan Freeman. Mm, he has a white face and a light complexion. He is very muscular. Vincent is his real name. So this is Vin Diesel. Okay, now. So um, we practiced. Um, now uh, let's learn. So uh, other words to describe appearance. So you can say uh, some person like he is in his early 20s. So if you, uh, uh, instead of saying that he's 21 or 22 or 23, or he's teenage, or he has oval face and so on. So yeah. next you can uh, describe someone's like their clothes as well. So you can see, you can say uh, like, um, so he wears casual things or he always wears jeans, t-shirts, and so on. So let's look at the um, paragraph, my next door neighbor. Mavis has been my neighbor for six years. I first met her when she knocked on my door and asked for a spade because she hadn't yet unpacked hers. She had only moved in two days before. So here you can see introduction part where um, so writer is introducing uh, his uh, next door neighbor, uh, Mavis, uh, and uh, how they met for the first time. So next paragraph um, is uh, so about uh, describing of Mavis. So physically, Mavis looks younger than most other women in, in their late 60s. She is of average height, neither fat nor thin. Her plump brown face is framed by a mass of wavy white hair and her sparkling blue eyes show her humor and friendliness. She prefers wearing casual, comfortable clothes. I don't think I have ever seen her in, in a perfectly iron suit. So this paragraph is about uh, her uh, appearance. So here you can see uh, about her head, about uh, her uh, face, uh, and about her hair and uh, the uh, colors of her eyes. Uh, so this is uh, how to describe appearance. So now let's learn to personality, how to describe personality. In order to describe personality, uh, you should learn some characteristic traits like, um, uh, but while writing these characteristic features, you have to justify this, you have to support. You shouldn't count several uh, characteristic traits, uh, like she is generous and very good person uh, and humorous. No, you should count uh, one by one uh, with their justification, you should support. Uh, as goes in this uh, example. As for her personality, Mavis' most striking characteristic is uh, her generosity. So now the uh, next uh, sentences is about that generosity. So writer is supporting uh, his idea. My house, as well as most of our neighbors, nearly always has a vase of flowers from her garden in the living room. Mavis is very uh, good natured and always has time for a chat. She's also patient. Um, so the word patient is uh, supported by the following sentence. 
Uh, she ha hardly ever gets annoyed about anything except when children pick her favorite roses and lilies. However, so uh, here we can see the word patient, uh, why uh, writer thinks uh, maybe is patient and he's just giving supportive sentences to this uh, word. So, uh, but in a uh, descriptive paragraph, as well as you can write um, some uh, negative traits as well uh, by using some linking words like however, however, she tends to be, but you should, shouldn't use some offensive words. Uh, you should use some mild words. And while describing negative character character traits you should use uh, she seems to be she's like or she tends to be uh, here writer used she tends to be quite stubborn one once she has made a decision nothing can change her mind so uh, Mavis always seems to be busy doing something. She spends a lot of uh, her time looking after her garden and often participates in local flower shows. When she is not in her garden, she is usually off somewhere, raising money for one charity or another. So next paragraph, as you see, is about her interests and hobbies. And the last paragraph is usual uh, conclusion. All in all, so in conclusion, uh, you have to write your uh, overall uh, view uh, about that person and your attitude to, towards that person. All in all, Mavis is the perfect next door neighbor since the day she moved in. Uh, we have grown very close and I'm very fond of her, even if I'm woken up by the nose of her lawn mover early in the morning. So here you can see the attitude of writers towards this uh, person. So um, let's learn some character qualities. Generous, aggressive, uh, easygoing, shy, stubborn, optimistic, reserved, friendly, impatient, polite, cheerful. So uh, as you see here, character traits can be divided into two, negative one and positive one. And while writing uh, paragraphs, while describing a person, you can use both of them using some gentle, uh, mild words, not offensive ones, and um, with their justifications. Uh, you shouldn't just count all words like generous and aggressive is going, no, you should use one of them and then you should give supportive sentence uh, to that word, to that uh, character quality. And then you should move uh, to another quality. So, uh, and then you will write about hobbies and activities. So activities like play the guitar, plays uh, basketball, participates in motor racing, and so on. It's uh, up to the person whom you are describing. So, and uh, so uh, while writing, uh, um, avoid beginning all sentences in the same way that uh, this is, this will make your composi composition boring. Use variety of structures, trying to link the sentences together. And uh, in order to link sentences, you can use uh, some uh, linkers. Um, like, she is a pretty girl. She has an oval face. So instead, you can use these two sentences, two simple sentences, uh, using the uh, word with, she is a pretty girl with an oval face. More uh, examples suggested below, uh, she has wrinkles, they make him look older. So instead, uh, he has wrinkles which make him look older. Or you can use who, she is a beautiful woman, she wears designer clothes. She is a beautiful woman who wears 
designer clothes. Uh, or you can use, uh, he has a big garden where he grows vegetables. So if you use this, your uh, writings uh, become more advanced, not simple ones. So as we said before, the last paragraph uh, will be about uh, conclusion. So you will conclude um, your uh, attitude, your um, uh, opinion about that person whom you are describing. So I think um, now you can uh, learn uh, something about describing a person. So uh, if it was useful, I will be very happy. Thank you for your attention. Bye.